in the shadow of our state capitol, which is the symbol of government of the people, with the statue of Abraham Lincoln, one of the most memorable statues of Abraham Lincoln, uh, looking right at us. And over here, Dr. Martin Luther King, who understood that uh, equal rights are for everybody. Dr. King said that a long time ago. And here we are, 50 years after the March on Washington, we're here to march on Springfield yeah. to make sure that our House of Representatives uh, takes a vote on a very, very important civil rights measure. Uh, I said a moment or two ago in the Capitol, this is our hour. This is our moment. This is where we the people come together. And it's so impressive to see, no matter what the weather, the people of Illinois are strong. They're good and true. They understand doing the right thing is always the right time to do that right thing. And this moment, this moment is very, very important. We believe in marriage equality. We believe in love. There was a writer who wrote a letter almost 2,000 years ago. He said, love is patient, love is kind, love never fails. We need love to pass the marriage equality bill into law, and I'll sign it as quickly as possible. Thank you very much. In this country and in this state, we know where it rests. It's with the Catholic Church, it's not with the black church. It's with the, the white leadership of the house. It's not with the black leadership of the house. We know, we know our allies have always been diverse. There have been people on all of all races for us and all races against us. We must not let them divide us. They want to divide us. I need to apologize as a clergyman and as a bishop in the Lord's Church for the arrogance and the ignorance and the obstinance that we have had for so many years for the abuse the mistreatment the demeaning attitude we have had toward gay people our brothers and sisters who are same gender loving i apologize on the behalf of millions who may not feel the courage to say i'm sorry